Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of NBA The Show. I'm Justin, and where's Chris? Oh, yeah, he's not going to be here today, but it's okay, everybody. So let's zoom on to me, and let's get this show started. Today, I will be breaking down Carl Anthony Towns. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the cat, and where I feel that he will go in the NBA at the prime of his career. But that is a clear benefit. This is Marcus Neely from FAU. Do me a favor and check out Justin and Chris on NBA The Show Weekly. If you don't know who Carl Anthony Towns is by now, there is a serious problem. The first pick, yes, first pick in the 2015 draft, won Rookie of the Year and may possibly win Most Improved as well. Who knows? In his first season in the NBA, he took the league by storm, posting incredible numbers in his rookie season. He was putting up 18, 10, and 2 daily and 1.7 shot blocks per game. Towns was drafted into the league where centers are becoming obsolete. Towns is anything but a center. Yeah, okay, he's labeled as a center. He's seven feet tall and he's very long, but his game shows that he can play a bit of every position. Let's bring up some plays where I break down every array of talent Mr. Towns displays. Let's check it out. History is meant to be broken. And that's how I always felt. So whatever happened last year happened last year, but that doesn't affect what we do this year. And this year we're trying to do something special and we feel we can. And there you see Carl Anthony Towns. Towns taking Adams away from the post. Carl Anthony Towns facing up with Steven Adams gets into him, bumps him, and puts up the tough hook, bodying Steve Which Minnesota able to get some space inside the offensive. Carl Anthony Towns with the miss, grabs his own rebound, loses the ball, grabs it over Sabonis, and Adams able to collect it and put it up over three players, including Oladipo, and get to the go. He is a tough center down low. Rebound for Towns, and he scores. Three assists for Westbrook. Here we see Towns faking the pass to Wiggins. Adams doesn't catch on. And Towns drains the three. A center who can shoot the three. Spot up. Robertson is going to stay in the game with two fouls. Wiggins with the pick and roll with Towns who sets the pick for Wiggins as you see here. Wiggins catches the ball. Towns rolls to the basket. Adams is late to the play. And Towns throws it down hard. Carl Anthony Towns shooting five out of six. He's got 11 points already. Towns going to work. Here we see great dribble moves by Towns. Facing up. Drives. Step back, puts the ball between his legs, crosses over the fender, gets by his defender, and gets it to go. Putting just a little bit. We're having a block party. This is going to be a little quick. Towns running with the chase down block. He is also a great defender and is able to get that chase down. Done. Looking for some space, and that's... Here we see the miss by Dunn. Carl Anthony Towns watching the ball. Sabonis not boxing out. Carl Anthony Towns has the ability to clean the offensive glass with the putback tipping. Now, Dunn has nowhere to go with the ball. Towns shows for it. Rock. Here we see Dunn finding Towns, who's able to face up and spot up shoot from anywhere, right over Steven Adams with the 20 foot jump shot and gets it to go. He's like in video Flat game mode. Towns rocks away. Towns 
with the capability of point guard shooting guard handles with the fake Adam Bites. Town steps in, steps back, great handle, and makes this shot over Adams, who got a good contest on the shot but wasn't able to stop it. His size, Towns. This is a quick score by Carl Anthony Towns. With you can see, he can maneuver himself in the air, guard like for Towns. In just one season, Towns can do everything any other center in this league can do. Some may debate that he already is the best center in the league, which is quite possibly being the fact that he can do everything. Yes. Everything that DeMarcus Cousins can do. In Cat's second year, he is averaging 22 points per game, 9 rebounds per game, and 2.7 assists per game. So keep in mind that the season is young and it has only been 9 games. Just 9 games so far this season. His field goal percentage went slightly down, but his 3 point percentage went up to 39%. I didn't stutter. A seven footer shooting 39% from behind the arc and is not European. He's a threat. If you're a center who likes to sit under the basket, guess again. You're going to need to come out and if you're late to come out, he will be there to drain it. And if you run out to the three point line, don't think for a second that Towns won't go right past you and drive the open lane. So, the question today is where does Cat sit at the prime of his career? In the next two, three years, Tom Thibodeau and the Timberwolves will figure things out. They will acquire who they will need to acquire and will be a playoff caliber team. I'm not stating that they don't have enough talent now to make the playoffs. I'm saying that being a playoff caliber team means that you will be in the playoff race every single year. The Timberwolves have not made the playoffs since 2004 with Kevin Garnett, aka the big ticket, was running this team. That's the longest drought in the NBA. With Wiggins and Towns running the pack, I am confident they will work their way into the playoffs. Back to Towns though, Cap will reach his peak between the ages of let's say 26 to 30 depending on how aggressive he is and how willing he is to give up his body will show how long he will be able to last in the NBA. Shaq was a dominant big man and took hits down low all the time and retired at the age of 39. But we can see the size difference between Towns and Shaq. Cat is young at just 21 years old. He was a one and done in college. He showed his maturity and came right into the league prepared with just one year under his belt, which is remarkable. A lot of players who come out of college into just one year usually aren't NBA ready and have to play number of seasons learning the game. The league is also debating about making it mandatory to stay in college for at least two years. Four year man Damian Lillard has proven that staying in college makes you more NBA ready coming out winning rookie of the year and putting up explosive numbers. Let's talk a little bit about the future and what Cat will bring to this Timberwolves team. He will definitely be an all-star this year, and I do not ever see him being snubbed from the all-star game until he's past his prime. Will he win MVP? That will be tough, being that he has a partner on his team, Andrew Wiggins. At the age of 26 to 30, I believe Towns will be averaging about 28 points per game, 14 rebounds per game, 6 assists per game, and about 2.5 blocks per game. He will also take his defensive game up to the next level. That is about the ceiling for Mr. Towns. However, his offensive skills are endless. He has proven to have great handles and passing capability. He can shoot off the dribble and drive to the bucket from the three-point line. He can spot up and make a jump shot from anywhere. He can play back to the basket and create space when needed. And he can back down all the way to the basket and dominate in the paint to get any position he wants. Defensively, he can't guard all five positions. We got to understand that, but he is comfortable guarding the power forward and center position. He's quick on his feet and always keeps him moving. He's a great rebounder and has the body and length to box out a player of size. Okay, guys, you heard enough about me talking about Mr. Towns. So now it's time to introduce the man himself. 
Give it up for Carl Anthony Towns, everybody. Hey, Carl, what's up, buddy? You guys recently ended a three-game losing streak and took down the Orlando Magic. How does that feel? It was big for us. It was really nice for us to come out today and do what we did. Uh, order was really uh, great for us. We executed at a high, high rate, and we did a great job. We did a great job, especially on the back-to-back -back coming off uh, a loss yesterday in Brooklyn. We did a great job coming out tonight, staying focused, and doing the execute and the game plan. Sounds good, Carl. How are you, Levine, and Wiggins adjusting to Coach Thibodeau's style of play? You know, first off, anything that comes new to a person takes time. So we've been putting in the time, understanding the new game plan, the new uh, mythology of playing defense and offense. So we've been doing every single day, uh, working on our defense, working on our offense, executing at a high rate. So uh, every day we're getting better. Interesting points there, Mr. Towns. How do you feel about Zach Levine's 37-point game the other night? He was dropping buckets from downtown. You know, that's that's something uh, that Zach could do at any given night. Zach is that talented. He's that special. That, uh, his shooting ability is, is second to none in the league. His ability not only to shoot so well, but to shoot very hard, contested shots and make them uh, is something that we're so honored and blessed to have on the team. Yeah, he is a great talent. Do you see yourself playing in the skills challenge again this year? We know you won last year. Do you think you're going to play again this year? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. Maybe, maybe the skills, maybe three-point contest, maybe both. Who knows? So, uh, who knows? I'm just trying to see where the dice fall for me. The three-point contest? Wow. You know, I'll, I'll be there to see that. And if you win, just like you did the skills competition, it's going to be crazy. Thank you so much for being here today, Carl. We really appreciate you on NBA The Show. Thanks again for linking up with us. Much appreciated. Take care. Thank you guys so much for watching this brand new episode of NBA The Show. Chris will be back with us for episode five, signing out from South Florida. I'm Justin, and I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Take care, everybody. Peace.